Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Your new and used Ram and Ram 1500 truck headquarters. And today I'm gonna to be showing you kind of exactly how I would set up a Ram 1500 if I were to get one. And you're looking at it right here. This is a 2021 Ram 1500 crew cab, five foot seven inch short box truck. It has the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi motor. It's going to get you 21 miles per gallon on the highway, 15 city, average of 17. Um, it is a Laramie Level 2. You have the Advanced Safety Group on it. You have the Technology Group, the Protection Group, the Chrome Appearance Group, and uh, it's in Hydro Blue Metallic, which is one of my favorite colors on the Rams. Paint code is PBJ if you're curious. And uh, we're going to go over all the options on this truck and do a walk around inside, outside, and uh, we shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you want to check out the best way to take a look at this truck, turn those HD capabilities on right now, your computer, tablet, or smartphone, uh, to get the best idea of the overall look, styling, and color of the truck. This one comes with the 20-inch painted and polished aluminum rims. They are my favorite rims on the Ram 1500s. And um, you get the granite crystal inserts, the polished aluminum on the outside, and that's a $1,395 option from the factory uh, to get those rims. They come with the Bridgestone Dueler tires, 275, 55R20s. They've got a highway tread pattern to them. I've always liked the Bridgestone Duelers. I thought they'd been pretty good tires. They used to put them on the old GMs, uh, SUVs back in 07, 08. But pretty good tires from what I've seen. This one comes with the LED headlamps. We've got them on here so that you can check them out. You get the LED fog lamps as well, the running lights. You get the chrome trimmed grill, part of that chrome appearance package, and the chrome tow hooks. This one does have the front bumper parking sensors, part of that Laramie Level 2 group. You also get the chrome trimmed 1500 Hemi logo. Fender flares come standard on the Laramie package, and that chrome package also adds those wheel-to-wheel -wheel side steps, which are really nice if you've got to get into the bed of the truck. You also get the chrome trim backs of the mirrors and the inserts on the door handles. As we take a look at the original window sticker here, feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything because it's a lot to go through. I'm just going to go through some of the main points, but feel free to pause it and check it out if you want to see if it's got all the options you're looking for. So main stuff, Hydro Blue, 5.7 Hemi, 8-speed automatic transmission. Everything on the left here is your standard equipment, and then on the bottom starts your optional equipment, including the Hydro Blue Pearl Coat. The leather trim bucket seats with the center console and wireless charging pad is $8.95. Protection group gives you all those skid plates. The technology group gives you the heads up display, the uh, rear view mirror camera, and then the LED center high mounted stop lamp, which is $1,095. That's a pretty cool system. We'll show you all those features in just a second here. Advanced safety group is $16.95. You get the emergency braking, the adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, parallel and perpendicular park assist, so the truck will actually park itself, and then the surround view camera is all part of that advanced tech, or safety group. Chrome appearance group is $9.95. You get the tow hooks, the wheel-to-wheel um, -wheel side steps, and the light opening moldings. Not sure what that is. Probably the chrome trim on those step plates there. Laramie Level 2 Group is $39.95. You get the Uconnect Nav with the 8.4, 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, 9-speaker Harman Kardon premium sound, automatic high beam headlamp control, blind spot and cross path detection, heated second row seats. You also get the park sense, rain sensed wipers, storage under the rear seat compartment, power tailgate release, 60-40 split bench reclined seat, and the Sirius Guardian for a year. Serious Traffic Plus for five years and Traffic Link for five years. And then you get the Mopar all weather floor mats, which are 135. Hemi is $17.95, and the rear wheelhouse liners are $195. And the 20 inch rims that I was telling you about that are my favorite are a $1,395 option. This also comes with the factory brake controller, which is important if you're pulling a heavy trailer. 62210 is the MSRP. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to our website where you can 
check out all the rebates and incentives currently on this truck. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. You get the miles per gallon right there, 21 highway, 15 city, 17 average. And then your, this is really what does it for me if I was gonna haul my kids around in this truck. A very safe vehicle, five and four stars up and down the board. So definitely a winner there. We'll finish the outside walk around here. Show you those wheelhouse liners. The other neat thing about Ram is that the rear shocks are coil springs. You can see them right there in the middle of the screen. Um, when you're unloaded and don't have anything in the bed, the truck's gonna ride a lot smoother. And if you do load up the truck, it's gonna handle it. Uh, so it's a really nice feature that Ram did. I think they started that back in 2014 or 13 on the half tons. And you get the LED tail lamps, the dual chrome tipped exhaust, full towing package, which includes a receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. And then you get the reverse sensors in the bottom plastic there of the bumper, which is nice. They kind of stay hidden. Get that shock down assist tailgate. Remember it's the power drop down tailgate as well. And then you get those LED lights with that backup camera rear view mirror. Get the fender flares with the Laramie package. This one also has the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature if you've never used it. Um, never get gas on your hands again. I like the chrome inserts on the door handles and the trim around the windows. Um, you also get the enter and go system right here. So if you've got the key fob in your pocket, just come up to the truck, put your hand in there, it'll automatically unlock. Heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring, directional signals, blind spot mirrors. Inside the Laramie Level 2 package gives you the black leather and suede interior. You get the gray piping, you get the Laramie stitched into the backrest. The headrests are also piped. And then you get that titanium stitching on the seats which looks really good. Both these front seats are power, both of these front seats are heated and cooled, and you do get driver's side lumbar. There are those all-weather floor mats. You get the power pedals, auto headlamps, the tilt and telescopic steering wheel, so it'll tilt up and down, and then it pulls in and out. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. You do get the power fold-in mirrors as well. So they power fold in, which is a really nice feature. Memory driver's seat, you get the suede bolsters, the wood grain trim on the doors, the kind of chrome trim around the speakers there. As we hop inside the truck, we'll turn the ignition on so you can see the LCD display. You do get a digital speedometer up top there, compass, outside temp display, oil temp, uh, battery voltage, you got range to empty on the right there, and you can change all those corners to read pretty much whatever you want or where you want it. You can put time up there, trailer brake gain, all that good stuff, but really cool instrument cluster. You get the heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls and adaptive cruise controls on the right, so you can set your cruise to be a certain distance behind the car in front of you. And if they slow down, your truck will automatically slow down to their speed. And then when they move away, it'll take you back up to where you had the cruise set. So really a cool system. Also, if you come up on somebody that's going a little slower, it'll match their speed. You get your uh, gear selectors there, Bluetooth information center controls, audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. You also get your eight speed automatic transmission, push button four wheel drive, push button start. The other cool thing is that this one has the heads up display. You can see it right there in the windshield. We actually did a demo of this technology group. Um, if you want to check that out, it's in the upper right hand part of the screen, that video. Um, but you get your speedometer and then what the actual speed is in the area. And then part of that other part of that technology group is that uh, rear view mirror camera. So this is an actual video of what's going on behind me. But you can turn it off and just have the normal review camera, which is pretty cool. Um, but you can have that on. It's a live graphical representation of what's right behind you. Um, you can also adjust this. So if you want to do the brightness, 
you can do that press that and it'll adjust how high up it goes or how far down it goes and the nice thing about having this video is that you don't get the if you notice when we put that down you get the headrests you get a little bit of the back of the truck plus it's far away this camera is mounted to the back of the cab so you're closer up to what's going on out there and you don't get the back headrests and you don't get the back of the truck so kind of cool stuff there now the 8.4 4c radio you get am fm and sirius xm radio capabilities you also can do your climate controls here including the dual climate controls where it's blowing your ac if you wanted to keep it inside the truck um, you also have your heated seats and cooled seat buttons as well as your heated steering wheel and you can check out your backup camera pretty much at any time during your drive those grid lines are dynamic on there. That center line lines right up with your receiver hitch so you can get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time. And then when you get right over the hitch, zoom in and you can get even closer, uh, which is really nice coming from a guy who has a camper that he has to hook up by himself. It's kind of tough to uh, always get it right the first time, every time without that um, zoom in. Now, the other thing is that this one comes with the factory navigation system, which is a really nice feature. Um, and then you get that um, Sirius Guardian for a year, the traffic link and travel link uh, for five years with that navigation. And then you have your projection manager where you can project your cell phone to the screen. So if you've got Waze or Google Maps or some other navigation system that you like better than the factory one on this truck you can project it to the screen same thing with music and media and stuff and we actually did a demo on that on android auto in the upper right hand part of your screen if you want to check that out click that and check us out there uh, one more thing on the controls here you can do the surround view camera which is a video of what's going on around the truck which is really neat um you can see how close you're getting to stuff in front and back of you and then you can actually do those cameras to get a better look um, and then you can go a narrow view on the front and back. So really a cool uh, setup on this truck. Definitely how I would set it up myself if I was going to buy a Ram. Now down here you'll get more of your um, advanced safety group with your lane departure, perpendicular and parallel park assist. Heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel buttons, the more tactile stuff down here including a vo volume and tomb control. You also have your dual climate controls there. Factory brake controller, stability control, tow haul. You can turn those front and rear parking sensors off. And then you do get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack down here. RAM charger for your wireless cell phone uh, charge pad. And then a 115-volt 400-watt plug-in. Keyless entry, power drop-down tailgate, remote start. You get the sliding console here with two cup holders, coin holders, and then you do get storage underneath there, which is really nice. And then that slides back like so. And uh, the other stuff up here, you get your SOS and assist buttons, your power drop-down tailgate, um, map lights, and then your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, and your power sliding rear window button. We'll take a quick look at the back seats. And uh, I'm actually going to pause the video just for a second so I can show you... Um, these seats reclined it's really hard to do with one hand without being in the truck to recline it so I'm just gonna pause it and I'll get it reclined and then I'll turn the video back on so all right so I got the seat reclined there and you can see just how much it reclines not a ton but if you got a long trip I'm sure it'd be nice to have it reclined just a little bit you do get your latch child safety systems back here now you get three different spots on the crew cab where you can put uh, latch tether anchors, which is important for uh, parents with three sets of car seats. Power slide and rear window with the built-in rear defrost, and you do get those speakers in the ceiling up there. Also notice you get airbags back there as well. These back seats are heated. You get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and then a 115 volt 400 watt plug-in back here as well. Do get that nice wood grain trim up there as well. These seats are all trimmed out just like the front seats and they do fold up. Um, there's your storage compartment under the seats and you do get in-floor storage back here with removable containers for easy cleaning. 
Now to get these seats to recline back, that's easier to do. Um, they just go back up like that. Doors are all trimmed out the same way on the back and you do get child safety locks. On the back doors, we'll do one more final walk around here on the truck. Notice you do get those LED license plate lights as well. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you will have gotten a really good idea of exactly how I would trim out a ram if I were to get one. And uh, really like that hydro blue color. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got it. Go to our website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more Ram 1500 truck videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom, a link to our website, click that. Check us out there, and uh, we're super excited to be offering the 2021 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Short Box Laramie Level 2 in Hydro Blue Metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video.